Hey there friends on YouTube, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech, and today we are going to talk about how to customize your home screen. I'm just gonna go through some of the stuff that you can do and some of the ways that you could sort of mix it up and do it yourself. I'll show you some of what I've done and give you some suggestions for other options. So let's just get into it. The iOS home screen is generally, you know, kind of boring. We've, it's always been kind of boring, but now we have the opportunity to not be boring with iOS and its home screen. Always had the opportunity to change our wallpaper, but now we can have widgets, we can have third-party widgets, we can have mostly blank or entirely blank home screens. Uh, you can decide how many icons you want to have on your home screen. You can put blank icons in there to fool your home screen and get negative space. You can do a lot of different things. For me, I think it's best to have the apps that you use the most often on your home screen somewhere, and then the widgets that will make your life easier, and then also some widgets that will just kind of give you access to a bunch of different things. First thing you want to do, I guess, is find your apps that you use most often. And the way that you do that is you go to settings and then you go to screen time and then you go to see all activity and it'll tell you what apps you've used the most. So for me, it's music, Notion, YouTube, App Store, messages. And this changes over time depending on like, you know, what you're doing. Like right now, I've been spending a lot of time on the App Store because I'm checking out third-party widget apps and that kind of thing. So I've been spending a lot of time there. Messages, Prime Video, Twitter. So I'm not going to put all of those on my home screen, but I will put some. And I'll show you exactly how I decided to do that. Uh, right here, Notion is right there. Music is right there. YouTube is right there. Twitter is right there. Those are the apps that I use most often. And so I put them right here. But here I have a nearly blank home screen with just the app dock at the bottom. And I'm gonna tell you how I did that. Uh, first, tell you how, to, how I changed the wallpaper where I found it. Then I'm gonna tell you like how I chose the widgets and go on from there. First off, if you don't know how to change your wallpaper, it's okay, uh, we'll get there. So you go to the first page of settings, you scroll down until you see wallpaper. And then it says, choose a new wallpaper. And you can do one of two things. You can, there are Apple's specific dynamic wallpapers. But if you wanna go beyond the Apple sort of suggestions, the things that they give you, you can do that and you can do it pretty easily. Now, you can make your own folder in photos that's called Wall, wallpapers or something like that. I usually go to just the big folder and and I, you know, will have recently downloaded some wallpapers. So let's say I want to have this Star Wars wallpaper. There it is. I can select that. I can set it. I can set it for both the home screen and the lock screen. I can cancel it. But right now I have this wallpaper from The Shining and uh, I just, I love typewriters and I don't know, Shining, good movie, good book. So I decided to, so you can also move and scale. So there we go. And I set, set both. And now when I go back, of course, it's right there. The widgets are something slightly different. If you've ever looked at somebody's Android home screen, you'll see widgets all over the place. And you might've thought to yourself, if you're, if you're a full-time iPhone user and you've never had an Android phone, you might've been like, oh my God, what is this magic that's happening here? Well, it's not that magical. What you can do is long press on the home screen anywhere, right? And then hit plus. And then you have all of the widgets that are available to you. And all of these widgets, like here's a smart stack. All of these widgets have three different sizes, right? So you can select just this little quarter or a third or a half and just put it on there. So let's add this one just for the moment and say done. Now, it's got my weather widget, it's got my news, it's got my maps, it's got my music, it's got all kinds of crazy stuff, right? So let's say I don't want all that crazy stuff in there. I can hit long press edit stack 
And let's say I, I don't want this, this guy in there. I can just slide. Let's say I don't want, uh, let's see, maps in there. You just grab it by the right-hand corner and slide. So there you've got just those few things. You hit the X, you're out. You've got your smart widget. If you want to get rid of a widget and you know, just like, oh, I'm not, I'm not into that. Then you can long press and then hit remove stack, remove, and you're right back to where you were. There are third party widgets that you can also get. They come as apps and then, you know, you can choose the widgets that you want. So you see right here, this time and date one with the battery percentages from an app called Color Widgets. Some of the widgets that you can get third party are free. Some of them have some functions for free. Some of them cost money, a subscription or a one-time fee. I try and stay away from subscription stuff because subscription stuff is, um, yeah. It just kind of gets you, and I, and I don't want that to happen. But I do have here color widgets. Now, we go over here to the app library, and I'll just do C-O-L-O, -O, color widgets. So you open it up, and you see it gives you a bunch of different options for designs. It gives you a bunch of different options for fonts. So here's the one that I have selected. Here, you can change the font. You can change the color. You can put a photo behind it like so. So you see there's a photo behind it. And then once you select the color widget app that you want and the design that you want, it will show up on your home screen. You can move it around to your heart's content, which is like so. Let's say that you want to have a, a totally blank home screen. Oh my God, I'm gonna tell you how to do it right now. So the, it's easy. Long press until you get into jiggle mode and then grab whatever's on the home screen and throw it over on another screen, and then hit done. And all of a sudden your home screen is completely blank. You can also do things like change the icons. I did it with my music app, and you'll see there, there's a little bit of weirdness. It goes to the shortcuts app, and then it goes to the music app. So how did I do this? Well, let's go ahead and go to shortcuts, and then you hit the plus button. And here you hit add action, and then search for open app. So you get open app and here it gives you the opportunity to choose. So you choose what app you wanna open. Let's say I wanna open Audible, right? Okay, so I wanna open Audible and then I hit these three dots above and hit add, add to home screen. You don't want it to say new shortcut five. So what you do is you can just delete all that. Now, if you want the app name, you can put it there, Audible. But I kind of like apps with no names. So we'll just leave that there. Now, you want to change the icon to a different icon or a picture. So you tap right there. You tap Choose Photo. Let's, let's search for the great Gatsby. Yeah, I didn't spell it right, Gats B. And we'll search the web. We'll go over here, we'll find images. And let's just say we want, we want Leo as, as our great Gatsby, right? So then we slide up, go back to the app switcher, go back to this, then we slide up. And you'll see we've got our Leo photo and we can fill that guy out by just pinching and zooming in and then we can choose. And now we have Audible and we have Leo as the Great Gatsby. We hit add and it's been added to home screen. So when you go up, you'll see that it's been added to the home screen. You could, you could put it wherever you want it. You could put it over here on the first page. You can move it around. You can do what it just works like a regular app but it opens up Audible. The way that I ultimately put mine together is that I like to have the date and time widget up here so I can see date and time. And if I had anything to do today besides make this video, then it would say whatever I had to do. Put all of my apps that I use on a regular basis right here. I put photos, oh, look, at, look at my, there's my daughter and a friend at ballet. My daughter is not that young anymore. Uh, but 
you've got this sort of smaller corner, then you've got this sort of horizontal, and then you've got this block that you can put in. And pretty much every app can be sized that way. Apple gives you a lot of choices just by hitting the plus button. You see that you've got music, podcast, public, well, some, some third-party apps. More third-party apps will be available as apps, I guess, kind of build their own widgets. But so far we've got, you know, like a Siri suggested widget that puts up stuff contextually during the day uh, or by what apps you're using most often. You've got your clock, you've got your news, you've got your widget smith is a third party and widgeridoo is a third party. And then I already showed you color widgets. There are more and more out there every day. I just, in the few days since I did my sort of walkthrough of iOS 14, there have been more of those out there. And then you can select all kinds of different things here. So you can see there are a lot of different ways that you can customize your home screen and give yourself, you know, whatever you want. Uh, you can go deep into it. You can just do, use Apple's widgets. You can just throw one widget on there if you want. You can throw in the most used apps that you have plus widgets. Uh, there's just a lot of opportunity and it's not that hard once you kind of start to understand how it's trying to work. And once you understand how it's trying to work, you can get it to do what you want. That might not be as intuitive until somebody tells you that you can do it and then you go ahead and do it. I have really been enjoying using uh, iOS 14 now that there's more customizability. I mean, I like iOS 14 for a lot of other reasons, but just being able to sort of personalize your home screen is a, bi is a big deal to me. And, and maybe it is for you, and that's why you're watching this video. And, and thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here and you want to come on back again, please like, subscribe, bell, notify yourself so you can do that. If you've been here before, thank you ever so much for coming back again. Please suggest to your friends that maybe they check out the videos because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get to the people with my messages. <laughs> Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.